Hi, I'm Miranda. And I'm Derek, and we're another bourbon. Another bourbon. Another bourbon. <laughs> another bourbon. We're another bourbon. Co. <laughs> I promise I'm driving. We haven't had any. <laughs> We finally made it. We are outside of Old Hickory Wine and Spirits. Uh, looks pretty promising, to be honest. There's a giant, like, Jack Daniels thing over there. Uh, let's go check it out. Anything that you want to try to find? No, I'm a sucker for store picks, though. And being the Christmas time, maybe they'll have a few extra things. I've seen this label before. Yeah, me either. Laws. Laws. Oh, Granddad 114. <laughs> common go to. <laughs> yeah, that is a common go to. Short so, barrel, this one's mine. <laughs> so, what do you think about the new label on the rare breed? Honestly, I don't really like it. Yeah. It, it, I think it ages the bottle. It ages the bot like it makes it look older? Yes, it, it ages the brand. Yeah. Pursuit United. That's a good price on the Pursuit United. Fifty nine ninety nine. Old Scout. Ever seen yeah. that? We got a great selection here, to be honest. Blue runs at a hundred. That Russell single barrel is a little expensive for my taste. Everybody says this is really bad, but they sure do have a big one. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> I don't like the Hayden toast either. Joseph Magnus says cigar blend, no. One twenty proof single barrel. That's a favor. We're almost out of this too. You know, as far as labeling goes and marketing, this is gorgeous. Frank August? Yep, it's just super simple, has a nice shape to the bottle. Oh, we like gorgeous, nice shapes. <laughs> well, this is cute, the uh, Whiskey Road tasting set. Yeah, this would make a great Christmas present. That would be a good Christmas present. Make an Old Forester fan for sure. Oh, they have plenty of this. Must be in the rewards program to purchase. I have to figure that one out, yeah. Is there, what is that about there? That's a 1.75. That is a big bottle of Buffalo Trace. Miranda for scale. Uh, for those out of outside of Tennessee, um, Buffalo Trace is pretty hard to find. Uh, I, that's actually the first 1.75 that I've ever seen. Leaper's Fork. Uh, this isn't widely distributed, but it is pretty good uh, whiskey here from the Tennessee area. Uh, the distillery is just south of Nashville. Uh, these are bottled and bond. Sagamore Double Oak. That might be a move. Know anything about Bib and Tucker? I don't. I like the bottle. Haven't had it. Double char. That'll be a go for you. Yeah. Uh, if any of you have had Bib and Tucker, let us know down in the comments. Do you have a ca oh, yeah. Do you like Castle and Key? Miranda's a sucker for their gin. Yeah, we had an opportunity to stay at one of their properties, so now I'm a fan. Well, they've got some of the Bourbon County stuff. They've got the Angel's Envy and the, uh, I think that's the Angel's Envy. We probably should, um, pick up those then. Yeah. You got it? Perfect. Oh, sick. Appreciate it, man. I'm just recording. You got anything else special hanging hanging out back here? Yeah. You see, I've got some allocated stuff over here. It's up and wraps, but yeah. What do you got allocated? What do we got? Sinatra. You can. Oh, cool. Is this your store, by the way? It's a great store. I appreciate it, man. Just me and uh, two other guys that run it though. Oh, cool. So, one being the other. It's pretty hard to find barrel proof around here, too. Can I ask you for 
prices on these four for sure? Yeah, absolutely. This one is two ninety nine. Okay. That was the A batch that he grabbed. This is a, a B batch here. So this is two forty nine. Oh, sorry. One more. That's uh, two twenty. Two twenty. They have the tropics too. Two twenty nine. Okay. Yeah. So you have, you said six total or six more? Uh, six total. Okay, six total of the holiday select. I'm gonna ask you for one more. Seven ninety nine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably know the Blanton's off the top of your head too. That yeah. One's, uh, well, that's a good price. Are you a bourbon guy or? Not really, man. Uh, bourbon and me don't, don't really mesh together. Too no, much, so tequila, rum. Tequila, yep. yeah. <laughs> that's cool. I know that flavored whiskey can be kind of taboo, but this seems a bit interesting. Starlight is good. Yeah, Starlight is good. It's got an award. It's like for an award. And it could be a little on the sweeter side. <laughs> <laughs> What's the price on it? $26.99. That feels wrong. Huh. Might have to pick it up. Give it a try. A bit of a gamble, but it could be fun. It could be. So I'm really torn on the uh, Jack Daniels holiday 2013. They stopped making them in 2014. That price is $249 on secondary. They're like $400, $500. Uh, so it's a good price. Uh, couldn't find anything stellar written on the actual flavors and stuff, so that's why I'm kind of on the fence about it. <laughs> I do like seeing an Elijah Barrel Proof um, in the area. Uh, I do wish it was a sea batch, but um, could be interested to pick up the the A or B. So, gonna think about that. Probably gonna pick up this Blackberry for. Miranda, and then I think there was one more over here that caught my eye. Maybe the Sagamore. I think this is my pick. The Sagamore, double up. Battery is running low, but we are here at Hermitage Liquors. Uh, we just left Old Hickory. What'd you think of Old Hickory? I thought the store was large. I thought they had a good selection. A lot of, a few things I'd never seen before, but no barrel picks. Maybe we'll find some here. Yeah, and just want you guys to know too that these two stores that we're walking in tonight to tonight are an experience just as much for us as it is for you. Yeah, it's new. These are not our home stores or anything. Yeah, so a little venture. Cool. What is this? Holiday countdown. Black and all. Old number seven, single barrel select, gentleman jack. Tennessee rye, honey, fire, and apple. Do you want to try the whole? This is like going to the distillery without having to go. Yeah, their bottom line, bottom tier stuff is in their flavored stuff is in there. Oh. Buffalo Trace. This gives you an idea of what Buffalo Trace is like in Nashville. From a blend of distillery on the grounds of the Tennessee plantation. I don't think I've ever seen old hickory. It's anybody tr one. anybody out there tried Old Hickory? It's 80 proof, pretty low. Natural barrel. Bakers, but that's a little a little more than what I want to pay for it. So I'm not seeing anything. We've got some of the Tennessee tasters. Along with the the 375s of Jack Daniels. The Chris Fletcher selected bottle. I've got one of those at home. It's pretty good. Jack Daniels. I don't believe they're in the business of <laughs> appreciating any craft. Well, I, I would actually, I don't know, because they had a lot of stuff. You'll see from the footage, they had 
uh, a lot of Weller 12, they had the CYPB, they had Foolproof, they had Twice Barreled Rye from Jack, they had Stag, they, you know, the selection was good. The problem is they had no idea what they had and they didn't know how to price it. So some was like way overpriced and others were like around where it should be, you know, secondary, 80% of secondary. But it's actually a really good example of what we were talking about in the car before, off camera, where um, a lot of the stores that, from the outside looking in, they don't look like craft stores, yeah. right? And this one is, does not. But the trick is, places like this sell so much of the bottom shelf, right? They're selling the Wild Turkey 101. They're selling the Jack Daniels number 7. The mixers. The mixers, right? Mm -hmm. And when stores are selling that much bottom shelf stuff they are the ones that get the allocations. And so a trick is, instead of going to like your nice boutique crafty, you know, store that's going to you know, sell you the, the same bottle of single barrel select, um, you know, try going to some of the, the stores that you may not think have craft in them. Uh, cause it turns out, I bet they're selling a lot of, uh, bottom shelf stuff, which means that they could get some allocation. All right, y'all, it's time to recap. We are back home, uh, and we went to two spots tonight. Yeah, two spots. Um, first one was Old Hickory, uh, Wine and Spirits in Hermitage, Tennessee. Um, scale of one to ten. What would you give it? With decimals. Let's rate these spots. So I think that's the store that we'll go back to. Um, I think that maybe there was a start of a slight relationship. Uh, they were a fairly small managed store. Um, overall, I felt pretty cozy there, so I'm going to give it a 7.5. Yeah, it didn't have your barrel picks. Yes, it lost points because there were absolutely zero barrel picks. Um, I felt like there was a missed opportunity there and not a lot of um, opportunities for easy Christmas gifts. Yeah, I can see that. Um, although Christmas won't be a factor in every rating that we do for obvious reasons, it is December. Um, for me, yeah, it's the first one. I don't want to rate it too highly, but I really did uh, like the service there. I thought the guy behind the counter was uh, super nice, helpful. Um, answered all the questions uh, that I had. Um, I think they had some cool allocated stuff. I mean, the 2013 Holiday Edition, Jack, Jack Daniels. They had, um, you know, the Purple Top Weller, you know, a couple of other really cool bottles. Um, and their just, like, day-to-day -day selection was really good as well. Um, I'd probably rate it a little bit higher. I don't put as much of an emphasis on the barrel picks as Miranda does, but I'd probably say 7, 8. Um... And would definitely go back. And we'll be back. Uh, rewards program was also a plus, um, and it's not too far from home, so that's cool. Um, I think the other place, Hermitage, um, was not as uh, high. What would you say about Hermitage liquor? I'm glad we went. Okay, never to go back. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe a four. Um, they... There was a gentleman who was happy to wait on us once we asked, but it was not a welcoming experience. Um, I don't even think he was happy to do it once we asked. <laughs> <laughs> well, was, okay, maybe that was a bit gracious. But they were there for a specific purpose, and we were not it. Yeah, that <laughs> we was. We were not their clientele. Not it. Um, the selection was okay. They did have some like pretty nice stuff hiding back in the glass. Um. But overall, I'm okay if we never go back. Yeah, if you want menthol hundreds or black and milds, I think it's a fantastic store. <laughs> um, if you are looking for uh, a regular whiskey spot, not sure I'd recommend it. Um, selection was minimal. Uh, pricing was super weird. Uh, just like some things were below MSRP, to be honest. Um, other things were double, triple MSRP for you know no reason in my mind. Um, you know, 
definitely a good allocation stuff. Um, and, and I mentioned this in, in one clip. I don't know if it'll make the final cut, but um, stores like that that are selling a ton of bottom shelf, they often get allocation because the distributors want to value their business, right? So if you're selling a lot of um, you know Jack, Jack Daniels number seven, you're going to get the twice barreled releases. You're going to get the 10 year and 12 year releases. Um, and so, you know, for those of you out there, maybe uh, you have stores that you don't really think of as like your whiskey stores, your bourbon stores, but it still might be worth, you know, kind of popping in to see uh, what they've got. Um, with that said, do want to recap our um, our haul here, um, because after all, it is the holidays. Um, so first up, we've got uh, these two items, which aren't technically bourbon, but they do have bourbon on them, um, and in them, technically. Um, these are the Goose Island Bourbon County um, beers uh, from Angel's Envy, um, as well as, uh, I believe this one is aged in, is it Turkey? I don't remember. We'll have to look that up and uh, provide it uh, down in the description. Um, so we, we copped that. We picked up this one uh, that Miranda's a big fan of, um, at least on the outside, right? Yeah, I'm looking at this as something like easy sipping at the very end of an evening, um, almost desserty, but hopefully not quite maybe as many calories as a cocktail. Yep. Um, worst case scenario, it'll probably make a pretty decent cocktail. Anyway, it's got extra words. I'm kind of a fan of extra words. Yep. And then last but certainly not least, uh, Double Oak Sagamore Rye. Uh, really excited to crack this one open and give it a try. Um, if you want to see our notes about it, if you want to you know, catch a video review, leave that down in the, uh, the comments below. Um, until then, I uh, hope you like, comment, subscribe if you like what you see here. Um, and to one another and to another bourbon. See you. Yeah. See you next time. Oh. Is it off? <laughs> Is that off? <laughs>